Hey guys, it's Raikou541 here with a new series I'm going to try and finish this time. I know I haven't been finishing any of my series, or series, 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 series. I will be finishing this one, I know I will. This is a, it feels like this is going to be a relatively short game, and I'm bantering again. So let's just start the game. Oh, we'll just uh, overwrite that save, and we'll set up our gamma settings until we can barely see the ninja. So hopefully I will be getting- oh there's a mouse, just noticed. So hopefully I'll be getting through one mission per episode. If it goes out longer, hopefully I can just do maybe two episodes per mission. I don't know how long every missions are, but so far they seem to be only a good 20 minutes long. If I could speed rush it, probably 10 minutes, even 5 minutes if I go really fast. Um, this isn't technically a guide per se. This probably this, you guys are just gonna watch me play the game, and that's what Let's Playing is. This isn't so much a guide as it is for your viewing enjoyment. And I'm talking over the cutscene. But there's much going on in the cutscene other than that guy getting killed by the ninja, and uh, we're in the game. Hey, so with all games, you. this is pretty much the tutorial the stage. Bell? Come on, let's sprint, 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 sprint. Go, 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 go. Rule number one, don't get me killed. So the premise of the game is you're a ninja. And that's all you need to know so far. Invisible in light, invisible in the dark. Wait, where's your sword? Stick to the darkness until you find one. Watch out, they're coming this way. So like she says, we can't really do anything until we get our weapons, so the best we can do is hide. So wait until that guy gets past, sneak okay. around him. Keep moving. You can run, but running always, uh, running Come makes us, find a place to hide. running makes a sound, so you don't want to run when there's enemies nearby. Just wait until they pass. And just think of this game as like Metal Gear, this is, a, this is pretty much a stealth em up, not much um, killing going on. How did you beat me Hold here? Up. Run, and they'll be able to hear it. Because, yeah, so like I said, if I run now, they're gonna hear what they're gonna hear me. So I'm not gonna do that. Get under that ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. And I got my grappling hook. So just press the RB, and it'll be good to go. Oh, oh. Again, we can't really do anything for now, so I'm gonna skip those guys. Good thing you were out cold. Looks like they don't know you're alive. Let's and keep it that way. I got my sword. All right, guys. Now we get some real action going on. Now you're ready to kill. The beginning of the kill is like embracing a lover. The end, of course, is not. Do you hear, guys? Work. Killing people remember, is like embracing your you lover. So whenever you have you. very intimate, um. Coitus, you could think that you're sort of killing her. I cannot believe I said that. So yeah, you really want to take your time with how you play this game if you want to be uh, not caught. If you want to get the not no intrusions or no awareness or something. Yeah, if you just don't want to be caught at all or don't want to raise awareness, you got to be patient with this game. So another tutorial. We got the dots. The kunai, I believe, the but whatever. Tattoo has honed your senses. Focus your thoughts, and you can freeze time in your mind. So if you hold LT, we can actually target all of these. Hit them all at once. This will be an important mechanic later in the game, and you'll if see you quite a bit. Uh, we shoot this. Oh, you could turn off the light. The lights. What is that noise? But shattering them will make a loud noise. So and he's dead. So there's two guys. Um, shattering that will be a problematic. But let's do it. Actually, I should do it from a safe distance. Wow. Also, if you screw up the killing prompt, um, you do still kill them. You just won't get a perfect 
you just won't get a perfect kill and you'll get like an imperfect kill which won't yield as much points and let's kill that guy because we can what's this Ooh, artifact recovered all right and if this game is a little dark for you guys I apologize but that's that's pretty much one of the mechanics of the game you just got to be you gotta be invisible, so if you can barely see the ninja, the game is doing his job. Also, this is a good time to explain, you really can't see anything. So, like, just like I said, so you're gonna have to peek through, and every time you unpeek or go back and cover, you, they're gone. And you get like a slight outline of them. Pretty cool, it doesn't make the game all at all cheap. Wow. So let's keep on going. Now this is fun. I can either set off the gong. Gong? Is that what it's called? A gong, right? Yeah. I can either do that and get one guy to walk over here, or I can take the easy route, shoot this thing, and kill them both. Huzzah. Okay, so we can either take out the light. Or we can uh, shoot the gong. We need to make him look the other way. I chose to shoot the gong. Good night, sweet prince. I loved you. Not really. Okay, so. See that door? Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. So, like she said, you can you can pretty much just sense what's on the other side, or you can look at the vibrations on the ground and see where he's stepping. Either one is fine, uh, but it is easier just to sense through the door. So we're just gonna wait until this guy uh, looks the other way, and then I can assassinate him. Good night. And I believe we got. We do not fear death. These are pretty much voice logs. Um, I'm not gonna. I I feel like I should Must get 100% uh, this game. I will try guys, I will try, but I won't guarantee 100% completion, because this is seriously my first time playing. I, I've only played tutorial stage so far. So here's what we can do. This is what I did. So uh, I detected, fly him down, kill this guy. Wait until that guy turns around, and then assassinate. If you didn't know, this this was by uh, the same people who made Shank. So this is a really uh, this is really great. I scouted up ahead. They're taking Ninja as hostages, and Master Azai is in trouble. We have to hurry. Ah, uh, tutorial. I already know how to open my map. Map is pretty useless in this game, really. So uh, here you are, and you gotta go right there. But really, why would you need the map? It's you either go left or you either go right. So I barely even use the map in the tutorial stage. I don't think any of you will either. If you do decide to buy this game, it's a really good game, and I just, I, you really should buy it. They caught us by surprise. So this is optional, really. But like, I like doing this because I'm a good guy. Okay, so we check up here. There's a guard right there. So what we should do is head up that way. Oh, look, there's a guy right there. Will he ever turn around? Nope. I can kill him with ease. You also reward with killing people, so you can if you want to. It's just oh, it's just um, you get more points that way. We killed as many as we could, but they. I find it us. funny how. Um, Talking doesn't make a noise, but any other thing you do makes a noise. Well, other than jumping, but you're a ninja. No one should hear you jump. Okay, so there's two guys here. I can either take out the lights, or I can, uh, I can do this properly. Well, not say properly. You can, you can really, you can approach this game any way you want. I'm just gonna do it, you know, the easiest way possible, which is wait until this guy turns around. Go in the door, assassinate this guy. Make no sound and come up behind this guy and kick his ass. Aw, yeah. 
Don't worry about me. Go save Master Azai. Well, there we go. We got one more ninja to save. Where is he? Is he in this building? I swear he was in this. No, he's in the next building, I believe. Okay. There's two guys in there because I could I see the outline. So what what can we do? Okay. Will he go outside? Yes, he will. So he'll either here. I can either take out the lights or shoot the gong, get his attention. Make sure that other guy didn't come back. Oh, look, he. Look, oh. Oops. Oop. Ah, this is what happens if you ever get caught, guys. Well, I had to get caught anyways to show you guys what happened. So it's pretty much like Metal Gear Solid. If um, you never played Metal Gear Solid, what happens is there's a detection timer. And you gotta stay out of someone out of their line of sight in order to, uh, you know, get back in the shadows. So I'm just gonna. Oops. Damn it. Ah. Oh, I really wanted to get a. Uh, I really want to get undetected, but okay, whatever. Oh, look, he's he's uh. It's clear. And again, this it's not that this game is like Finnegan's controls, it's really tight and solid. It was just my own, uh, you know, it was my own fault. He probably turned around and I didn't even notice, so I'm gonna do this properly. You get points, you, like, you get a major bonus if you go throughout the entire mission without getting caught. Really wanted that to happen, but, you know. So there's a guy right there and he's facing this way, so if I was dumb... I would uh, get myself caught. Oh, and uh, if you do, if you do end up getting caught, you can't use your sword and like slash him to death. You actually, I don't know why, you put it away and you start doing like kung fu attacks. I don't know if you get to upgrade to use your sword in combat, and that's it's like my only grab of the game. Ninjas aren't always about sneaking; they're more about infiltration. And if uh, they have to fight, they should be able to use their sword. Oh, but I think I think um, the sword has something to do with uh, the, the story. Rob, you pick the wrong guy to disturb. For the old man to retire, boys. A close mouth gather no fit. Confucius say, "Okay, I should stop that. I'm pretty, I'm being pretty racist." So I got a few options to do. I can either uh, hit the gong, distract both of them to go this way. Or I can use this lamp, shut it down on that guy, kill him. But that guy's gonna like freak the hell out. And shoot at randomly nothing. And then he's gonna be terrified, so I gotta wait until he turns around. Or I can uh, jump over him. Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, I was gonna do the other thing, but whatever. Hooray! For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival. And our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. And here's our score. So we killed a whole bunch of guys. See. You can either, so you can do it passively, so you can do uh, normal arms raise, which gives you 300 points, and no enemies killed, which gives you 500. I probably will be doing both, just to get both bonuses at least once in this let's play. And uh, the bottom, the bottom right, you see medallions, and unfortunately I didn't get all three, so I'll probably go back off camera and get it, because I don't want you guys to see all this stuff. And I got a total of 3 out of 9 honors, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, like I said, I'm going to do only one mission per episode, so, um, yeah, this is the end of the episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is a really good game. It's on Steam right now, and you guys should get it. Pretty sure it runs on every single computer slash laptop, so there's really no excuse not to play this game. It's really awesome if you love ninjas and killing things. Uh, don't we all love killing things? I sound like a murderer right now. Anyways, I'm dragging on again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you all later in the next video. This is a firestorm.